So sometimes Ashtanga gets this reputation, it's like this Marine Corps yoga that's just for the few and the strong and the proud and the brave and it's too difficult and all that. And it makes me a little sad when I hear that because actually anyone can do this. I have never met anyone that cannot practice Ashtanga yoga. I've worked with people that are blind. I've worked with people that are deaf. I've worked with people that are missing limbs. I've watched Patapi Joyce in Mysore, India teach a quadriplegic boy paralyzed from, paralyzed from his neck down. The idea is all of us come into the practice and we do what we can with what we have. There are some teachers that get very excited and they make it all focused on the physical aspects of the practice. But Ashtanga is a tool and no one has been hurt simply from the tool. It's like a hammer. If I pick up a hammer and start hitting my own thumb with it, I can't say, look how bad hammers are. Or if someone hits me with the hammer, I don't say hammers are bad. So we can get hurt doing anything. Yoga should be a sanctuary where we go onto our mat to alleviate the problems and the pains and the difficulty of life not another arena for injury or intimidation or feeling bad about ourselves. There's enough of that in the world. And so, if I could say anything about Ashtanga, I'd say, come in, try to practice it, but practice it in such a way that it feels good. Move slowly, listen to your breath, put your focus on the breath, and you'll find the depth. The depth is in the breath, it's not in how far you can push or pull in a posture. So, Ashtanga is a tool. It's an amazing tool. However, it's not the only tool of yoga. I am not an Ashtanga yoga evangelist out to save the world with Ashtanga. I just like it. Mm -hmm.